Hi there, welcome to my channel. My name is Ashley and I'm a six figure reseller on Poshmark and eBay. And today I'm going over a little haul of some items that I sourced online. All these items are gonna be items I'm either gonna post obviously on Poshmark or eBay, or I'm going to put on live auction in my whatnot shows. I just started recently selling on whatnot. I'm getting a hang of like what I wanna put in my shows versus posts online, but a lot of the items are gonna be more style based and I'm going to transition my Poshmark and eBay even more so into really higher end stuff and stuff that's going to bring me in a lot bigger for profit like a hundred or more and everything else I'm going to go ahead and put in my whatnot shows my shows are still gonna be based around more like revolve designer trendy items I might have a couple more mall brand trend shows like Zara and like Abercrombie and Fitch things like that um, anthropology free people those kind of brands that I want to separate into like the higher end versus more those like lower auction start points so that's kind of how i'm thinking of running my whatnot shows so if you're not following me along on there and bookmarking my shows i'll go ahead and put a link down below so you can have quick access to my channel there and make sure that you don't miss out on those shows because i know they're going to be super exciting and they're going to have a lot of great deals so getting into the little haul right away i'll kind of go over where i think i'm going to post all of them this first item is this likely dress this is the max in style maxi dress and you can tell because it has this one shoulder sleeve with like this little v cut here the mini length is called the packard style and so maxin is the maxi lifestyle of these and if you see uh this dress with this kind of one shoulder on it this is one of the most popular style dresses not sure why a lot of people like them i don't know if they wear them for weddings or bridesmaid dresses or whatnot but they're really great styles that sell well. I'm usually really particular about the styles I pick up for Likely. I definitely might add even a couple more styles into my whatnot shows, but this, because it is such a popular style, I am going to list it on Poshmark and eBay. This next piece is a brand I actually really love myself. It is a uh, Carhartt, and I'm just gonna show this little thing right there that's kind of what the brand looks like these are actually men's but can work unisex they're just a full length long overalls jean overalls they're their 90s look car is a really popular kind of like workwear like both men's and women's unisex brand they have a lot of like I don't even know how to describe it, kind of streetwear, but like outdoorsy, but it's more like low key is kind of why I like it. So I picked up these because the overall trend is definitely super in as well. So got these, they weren't super expensive. So pick those up. These are a men's size 810. And I'm not sure yet. I think I might put these on a whatnot show, but I'm still kind of thinking about it. This next piece I was so excited to find because I have it in my closet already and it is a Love Shack fancy tie-dye ruffle maxi dress. It's actually more of a rare style even though I kind of have it in my closet still but I have it listed pretty high at $600 and it has a ton of likes and attention on it so this I was super happy to come across again and got it for not I definitely paid a lot for it but in comparative even to the other piece I paid less than it so I was really excited about finding it it does have a couple small like stains right here that I try to get out but has a little bit of like residue left it is a size two but I was really excited to find this rear style if you come across love shack fancy more of like this rainbow tie-dye piece a lot of those styles are pretty popular but this tie-dye piece with all the ruffles and maxi is definitely the most popular and highest resale price of the love shack fancy tie-dye type styles this next piece is a free people kimono this is what the tag looks like here i don't know why but i find like the free people pieces with this tag always tend to do pretty well this is a kimono i have had a lot of success selling kimonos in the past from free people more these longer lengths this one has some pretty good comps online between 100 and 150. i was debating about putting this in a whatnot show because this is definitely the type of item i would put in a whatnot show however i did pay a little bit more for this that i would be comfortable selling online it definitely goes away from what i'm trying to do and trying to get profit wise if i put it on poshmark however i don't know i'm kind of afraid that the starting price I would start this at wouldn't be like what I want to get for it and sell for it and whatnot. Maybe I'll just put it on there and see what people do and if no one buys it then I'll list it on Poshmark. But um, 
It's a really, really pretty piece. If you find free people kimonos, I find that they usually do really well for me. Definitely sell, they sell really quickly. It's what I really like about them. And they usually sell for over $50 easily. This next piece is a Tadashi Shoji piece. This is what the tag looks like there. Oh, the, it's covering it. That's that there. So Tadashi Shoji is a really expensive formal wear brand. They have a lot of longer maxi dresses and such, but I find that sometimes it can be hard to come across styles that are actually cute. A lot of times they cater to more of a mature um, kind of styles and audience, um, but I thought this one was super cute. Kind of reminds me of self portrait in a way or kind of the styles that a lot of people are looking for for like bachelorette weekends. Um, so super cute. It is a size petite, but this wasn't super expensive at all. Definitely a little bit more and like it wasn't a thrift store price, but it was super cute. And I am thinking of putting this on one now, but this is another one I'm not too sure of because I know this will do pretty well on Poshmark and eBay. This next piece is of course Misa. You probably knew it just by seeing it. It's a really cute, pretty pattern mini dress. Their popover styles do really well. Um, they're more just like classic bread and butter type styles. It's, this style isn't anything spectacular, but it will just make a really solid sale. I actually am thinking of putting this in a whatnot show because it also is a size large. And I realize now when putting together shows for whatnot, I have so many like smalls and extra small clothing. That's probably why um, some of those pieces take longer to sell. So I'm trying to focus a lot more on adding in different sizes and larger sizes. So I'm thinking of putting this in that show. Um, the only negative about it is that the, um, let's see if I can show it. Right here, it's missing kind of this line right here. It really doesn't affect the stretch much at all because it has so many other bands in there, so it's fine, but it definitely is a flaw that really kind of changes the condition of the item. So if I'm thinking of putting this on one hand. This next piece, I love my personal fave, Babaton. It is a houndstooth plaid blazer and it is new with tags it retails for 228 dollars this brand and aritzia in general because it's so trendy they have really good resale prices for a lot of these new tag items especially and this is a size extra small but definitely has an oversized fit in it and this is something that i'm going to go ahead and put in a whatnot show this next piece i was debating about where i wanted to list it but i think i'm also going to put it on whatnot it is a generation love tweed purple blazer this one is also new with tags it retails for 366 dollars and this one is also an extra small though but i also i honestly do love selling this brand i think i sold something very similar to this before on Poshmark for like $150 so that's why it's like tempting just to list it on Poshmark so we'll see but I do like the fact that it is new with tags I really don't know what like this this must have been sold at like a boutique um, before I got my hands on it but their blazers for generation love do really well so this is definitely a brand if you're just selling on Poshmark even um, that you should pay attention to and look out for because I find the action as well and it's kind of underrated this next piece I'm probably gonna put on whatnot but again it's always so hard to know what I want to put on there but it is a Cripple Creek size large which is a size large which I like but it's very style based which is why I went ahead and I think I'm going to put it on there I've watched a couple lives and I think like suede leather jackets can do really well and this is a really beautiful suede jacket actually whenever I go shopping in Colorado because I have some friends that live out there that will go on vacation there a lot these sell in some of their Colorado like stores, kind of country stores they have out there for like $200, $250. It's crazy. So these will sell super expensive in stores. So this is a really great piece and I love the back on it. It has a bunch of different fringe. So I find a lot of things on whatnot that do well are things that have a lot of great details on them. They make them really unique because also it comes to a point on whatnot when if you're selling a lot of the same stuff like because whatnot is still growing as an audience you might run out of things and the people who actually want a specific item may all buy it because it's a lot of the same stuff going around so it's really good to put some unique pieces on whatnot and i think that is kind of how you will continue to thrive on there even though i haven't even started yet the sex piece i honestly 
I'm gonna put it on Poshmark so I'll be able to try it on and see if it fits me, but it is a Theory blazer. This is what the newer tag looks like. And I always love this newer tag because it does have the style name on it right in the bottom of the tag here. If I can find the, here we go. If you look at the um, tag, it has the style name at the bottom there, which makes it really easy for listing. But the reason why I wanted to keep this is because this looks exactly like a Veronica Beard blazer. I tried on before and really wanted, uh, but this is a size two, and I definitely think this is gonna be small on me. It does look oversized, but I don't know. We'll see once I model it, but I'm gonna go ahead and put this on Poshmark just because these type of blazers do really well in my closet. And I think, I don't know. I just have a feeling that what I've seen so far with the whatnot audiences that they may not be as appreciated with this type of style. So I'm going to go ahead and just list it on Poshmark. This next item is another one of my type of faves for fall and it, oh, you can't even see it. It is a J Crew jacket, a stadium coat. I love these. I think everyone loves these because it's a brand a lot of people know. It's such a classic style. They match with everything. And this is a size six. It is a petite size, but I don't find that matters too much, especially with these type of coats that are out here. The length doesn't matter too, too much or change. Like I don't wear petite, but like this would fit me and fit well. But I love this color. This is such a good color. And I usually list these on Poshmark around $200. And of course they might not always sell for that price, but it definitely makes a really good sale for a classic mall brand. So pay attention for J. Crew coats because they can do really well, just as much or better than some designer brands out there. This next piece I got for myself, but it was a little too short for me. And it is these Goldie jean shorts, size 25. They're the Parker style, but as you can see, they're a little bit short. I have so many pairs of Goldie uh, jean shorts, so I'm trying to be really specific about the ones that I keep because I have, I think, eight pairs. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these on whatnot, especially since I want them to sell now in season versus wait. And they weren't too expensive. And because, I don't know why, the mentality of if I buy it for myself, and even if I just get like, you know, make my money back $10 more than I'll be like happy with it. I don't know why that mentality is there because I know I could resell these and make a good flip on them, but that's just my mentality and I'll go ahead and put these on whatnot. They're a really good style that I know will be great for somebody else. And this last one here is a new brand alert, one you should definitely look out for. It's probably not something that you or ever come across very easy for a big flip, but if you ever find it for whatever reason in store, definitely pick it up. It, you'll know it because this is a very unique style and they don't have many styles that stray away from this. It is this kind of woven pattern. The brand is, what is it? Dragon Diffusion. It's kind of hard to show you like what the brand tag is because there really isn't one, but that's why it's important to know what the style looks like here. And it retails for $434, but the resale value on these are pretty much retail at $400. So what, let me see if I can find kind of what you might want to look for. This is like the only thing that's in there is this made in Italy, 100% leather. It smells like true, true leather. It smells really good. It's got these braided, what's it called? Straps. And this is called the nantucket basket bag and i think this is their most popular style it does come with a dust bag i wonder if this has like anything on there um i guess oh it's like a little bag that is what it looks like i don't know if that's the logo or not but this is a really good item if you're looking to increase your asp and if you can find it and make a good flip on it i was really excited to come across this because i had found out about this brand a couple months ago and i really wanted to try to sell it and i got this for a fairly decent price it kind of is this is falling off here one little piece not too bad i honestly might try to uh might put a little bit of a uh, gorilla glue just like right on the back there and kind of stick that in just a little dab but that is all for today. I am excited to start selling on whatnot. So I'm really going to minimize down the items that I 
get to sell on Poshmark and eBay. So sourcing might look a little bit different for me. I am going to try to get out and shop in stores a little bit more just to be able to get my cost of goods down as I continue to test out what things are selling for and whatnot because it's just better to start a little bit lower and see and feel things out versus start too high and people not be able to match up that price point and just be too expensive for them. So I'm just going to test it out and see. That's why there's a lot of things I'm like, oh, I don't know if I want to put it on whatnot or not because I just paid a lot for them and you just never know if it's really going to be something that works or not. But I think the thing that is kind of helping my thought process and kind of the thought process you can have when you're paying more for items is that, you know, if it doesn't sell on whatnot and I'm comfortable with the price I paid for it to sell on Poshmark, which all the items I'm still sourcing, I'm sourcing at a price to sell on Poshmark, then kind of it's okay, move on, you'll go ahead and I can post it on Poshmark. So we'll see about that. So I hope I think moving forward, I'll probably have a little bit more hauls from sourcing out in the DFW area here and also have some hauls about the items I'm selling on whatnot. So hopefully that gives you a little sneak peek of some items that I will have to so go ahead and again and follow me along on whatnot and bookmark those shows. I'll try to keep you updated as much as I can when I am having those shows. I'm also trying to be really good about promoting them on social media every single time I have a show. So make sure you're following me. I'm Recloth Collection on there, same as YouTube. So thank you so much for watching today. I hope you learned some new brands. Definitely put a comment down below which one of the brands that you're most looking forward to sourcing on your own. So give it a thumbs up if it helped you in that way. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I put out shows pretty much every single Wednesday. So hope to see you next week. Bye.